Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the LDC conference will help us take another step towards the implementation of the established program of action endorsed in May 2011 at the fourth United Nations Conference on LDCs in Istanbul, Turkey. Since 2000, the world has made great strides in reducing poverty, but much more still remains to be done. 1.3 billion people are still struggling to adequate food and shelter. And most of them are from LDC, least developed countries. My conviction is that poverty eradication must remain the central imperative of our global development agenda. Therefore, a radical shift in development strategies and a partnership should be considered as a top priority for LDCs to allow them to make significant leap forward at all levels to enable them to meet all the graduation criteria by 2020, as stipulated in the Istanbul Program of Action. In order to achieve the ambitious goal, the commodity sectors of LDCs need to become a productive lever for the development and the structural transformation of LDC economies with 12% of the global population. Some 900 million people, LDCs still collectively produce only 1%, only 1% of the world exports and receive less than 2% of global investment. This shows the imperative and urgency for a path of inclusive and a sustainable industrial development for LDCs. It is more critical than ever to give these countries which have been least favored by our global markets, a chance to grow their industries and to lift their people out of poverty through productive activities and the manufacturing and to reduce their dependency on external development assistance. It is time to give human dignity back to all the peoples of the world. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I was elected to the Direct General of the UNIDO in June this year. It is a particular honor to have been entrusted with the leadership of this key multilateral development organization, which makes a critical contribution towards the supporting developing countries in particular LDCs in their efforts to eradicate poverty and achieve economic and social development at this critical time of the history. Using my personal experience as an example, I worked as a farm laborer after graduation from high school. And this experience taught me that the farmers needed to transform their work through agri-processing, agri-industry, and agribusiness. Based on this knowledge, the total value addition is crucial to achieving durable and long-term poverty reduction and wealth creation. I'm convinced that the UNIDO is equipped with a kind of special knowledge to give LDCs the necessary tools to provide their people a future in a better life. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, be ensured 
that support to the least developed countries will remain the core opportunity, core priority of UNIDO technical assistance program. I truly believe that UNIDO will stay instrumental in eradicating poverty in the next generation on this planet. And this must put LDCs and their needs first. I believe that this will require fostering inclusive and a sustainable industrial development, or in short, is it? Why inclusive? Because we should leave no one behind. Industrialization should include the needs and the cooperation of all the peoples in all our countries. It should also bring together all the partners and the shareholders, stakeholders involved. It should ensure social equity. And moreover, I firmly believe that industrialization should be carried out within an environmentally sustainable framework minimizing the environmental impact, building resilience, and achieving resource efficiency. The technologies for this are ready, available, and in the future, new technologies will be achieved. I believe that we can achieve this goal. To allow UNIDO to pursue this goal of inclusive and sustainable industrial development, we need to pursue broader partnerships with public institutions, with the private sector, with academia and the civil societies. We need to continue to work with the wider United Nations system, including the international financial institutions, multilateral development banks, and we will need strong support of bilateral and multilateral donor institutions as well. The international community needs to understand that in order to meet the social development objectives, such as health, education, and et cetera, we will need to develop economic potentials and the fiscal incomes, tax revenues in LDCs. This in turn will require the development of the industrial capabilities of these countries, and the industry will provide necessary jobs and opportunities that allow the development of stable societies, and economic empowerment of women, and the dignity in life, just to mention some of the examples uh, and of the human development goals that we all justifiably strive for. I'm convinced that uh, ISID will provide a concrete means to integrate the three dimensions of the de sustainable development, economic and social and environmental, not just in theory, but uh, in practice in reality. Excellencies, honorable ministers, distinguished delegates, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. In 1975, a declaration which was endorsed here, exactly here, in Lima, defined UNIDO's contribution to multilateralism I expected that at the closing ceremony tomorrow, the ministerial roadmap will reaffirm the critical importance of inclusive and sustainable industrial development to poverty eradication. I also hope that you will endorse this important way forward in your deliberations on the post-2015 development agenda on which international community working so hard. 
you will debate milestones issues. First, the increasing solidarity and the role played by the BRICS and the other emerging economies in South-South cooperation and the triangular cooperation. Number two, the structural movement towards gender equality and the women's empowerment in LDCs. And the final one, the inclusive and the sustainable industrial development. Is it in the LDCs? Based on your deliberation statements and declaration, I will make sure that the UNIDO will dedicate itself to effectively offer its full range of services to benefit the industrial future in LDCs and the full eradication of poverty in the next generation. In this context, I also count on your cooperation and the leadership. I look forward to a successful conference and to the ministerial declaration and encapsulate the aspiration of your citizens and to ensure their prosperity and the well-being. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.